Greetings, Minimo Maniacs! Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker, coming to you with Assault Thinsky number three. Not number two, not number four, number three. Come on, baby, let my fire. Try to set the night on fire. A scale model kit review Star Wars Old School Group Build. Dun 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 Oh shit, my ass is on fire. Alright, fellas. Over the phone. Oh no, Bill, not the phone. Eh. Thread head hurt. Use the phone. Blinded them with science. Eh, uh, uh. <laughs> Here I am putting the front glass piece on to the tie interceptor. I, I put future to uh, clear up the uh, 30 some years of rattling around in a box. So it helped it out a little bit. Inserted the, the top cockpit into the uh, t into the interceptor painted everything black inside you know to Make it look good when you look in you won't see any clear plastic or any of the plastic of the kit All right did the same painted the black on the top half out of the top window uh, canopy uh, glass and the back of uh, viewport glass <laughs> Excuse me She went together pretty good for a snap tight Though I did glue everything together. And you look at this. Very, very plain. You know, very simplified. So I did something about that, which I'll show you later. The main part of this was there's about 10 to 12 little little sinkholes or injector pin push-outs on this sucker from where, uh, you know, the, the process of doing it. And they had to be cleaned up, you know, like there and there, and it even it even cut across the yeah right there. Even cut across the actual plastic, where it malformed the plastic and everything. So I mean, if you're going to do this kit, yep, sink holes there, there. You got to get out the file, and it's very tedious. Got to go around and clean up all those. Uh, the injector pin marks all across this the inner part one not on the outer part of the the wing but on the inner part it was loaded it was infested with them i had to call an exterminator mm. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. all right here we go over the kit all right fellas as you can see i was telling you about how plain jane the uh exterior detailing was for this kit I went in with styrene and I had to uh, check my resources on the inter internet and I had all these little small little details out of styrene to the kit to give it a little bit more fidelity of detail yeah fidelity detail happy days are here again eh. so all kind of little missing uh, do bobs and do hickeys and Thing about bobs, I added to it all along the surface where I needed it. I even missed out, even though this is the guns on this thing are on the tips of the the actual solar uh, solar panel, the wing parts. Uh, a lot of tie uh, interceptors still did have the cannons in here, but the kit omitted it, so I add I add the cannons too. And for some stupid reason. See that? And a corresponding one there. And the kit, they give you these god awful gigantic landing gears. Now, where the hell this magically appears from this dainty little fighter? I have no idea, but th these were just terrible. Look at the size of these things, man. It looked like something for the Millennium Falcon. Eh, I'm gonna land, Chewy. Eh, let's go get let's go get Luke. Eh. So those gone. So I had to close up the holes where the those giant ass uh, landing gear were supposed to go. So I closed them up. Also on the back part here was missing lots of little detail. So I went in and added all the little details as styrene. These things right here had like little red lights on the back of them. Detail up here. All along this thing. All the white you see is detail I added. That was missing from the kit. All this stuff. 
I think it gives a lot better appearance. Oh, I just almost stabbed myself with my exacto knife. Eh. <laughs> Bill's a menace. Also, for the uh, detail right here, I, I drilled out. I don't know if the light is washing that out or what. I drilled out those little. Drilled out these spots right here. And I drilled out the corresponding cannons right here on the wing tips. Drilled them out. Like I said, it's a pretty, pretty easy kit. I got the stand together. That'll uh, be good. I'll need a little epoxy up in there to hold it because the uh, hole's a little too sloppy. And the only remaining parts to go on are these little keys that lock into uh, these keys here that lock into there. But I'll probably pull this. This can be pulled apart. I'll pull it pulled apart and paint it for ease of uh, handling. Yeah, Bill, you tell him. You gotta keep this kit easy and simple. But you can actually still see the still see the guy inside there. Get the light just right. Uh, you still see him in there. Yeah, Mr. Red's Mr. Red Shoes himself is in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, hood. Hey, hey. He's wearing the rot. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you guys can see, but Grendel's over there sleeping. He's snoozing. He's taking a siesta in the bunker. Grendel. <laughs> All right, fellas. Everything's going good here in the bunker. Uh, hope everything's going good with you. Keep building. Keep having fun. Keep the community strong. Till next time, Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's bunker saying, "Auf Wiedersehen, mein Damen und Herren." Yeah, waka waka, tschüss.